previously on The X-Files. My name is Gabe. My parents left me here in this hotel room in Egypt with a beer and my mummy hand. It's me, your Uncle Ben, Uncle Ben. And I'm your cousin, sorry. There's mummies everywhere. Mummy! Did we really see those mummies or was it an imagination? Apparently, I, uh... Handle that situation pretty well. What I have here is proof undeniable that the men who gave me this disease were also behind the hoax. Book number 23, Return of the Mummy. He's back from the dead. Because he's a mummy. I mean, that's the definition of a mummy, right? And there's a real mummy in here? Duh. Return of the Mummy, more like Return of the Yummy. Shot, as in not yummy shot, as in what's Amy brewing? Amy? Intro shot. <sighs> Flashback to two years ago. Gabe visits his uncle Ben, cousin Sorry. Is that how we're saying it? Sorry? Sorry. Yeah, sorry. Cool. Sorry. 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 His sure cousin sorry. sorry. They encounter some mummies. Shit gets real. It is Christmas. This in book, the last book. In the last book. I'm here in Egypt, visiting my Uncle Ben and Cousin Sari. My Uncle Ben's an archaeologist. Flash forward. It's another summer, and Gabe is visiting a relative. Staying with Uncle Ben in Cairo. His relative. His re well, yes, Uncle Ben in <laughs> his, Cairo. His relative. His relative. His uncle. His uncle. It's me, your uncle, Uncle Ben. <laughs> My uncle has discovered a pyramid that is the tomb of an ancient Egyptian prince. Biggest issue with this book. Last summer, we dealt with this mummy. No, it wasn't last summer, R.L. Stein. It was last Christmas. We're like three pages into this stupid book, and R.L. Stein already forgot what happened in the first book. <laughs> the surprising thing about this sequel is he acts like the first adventure never really happened. He doesn't say much about it. It's like yeah. kind of no big deal. He just sort of brings it up like as you would in passing. And, Ga and Gabe doesn't even believe in the curse of this new mummy. He's like, You've no, that's mummy. not real. You've seen mummies You've come seen to life. Mummy. What's the matter? You afraid the mummy's really going to come to life? Uncle Ben is really excited about this latest discovery. He's like, it's Tutankhamun's cousin. He's like, we don't know what we're gonna find behind this door, but it's gonna be a big deal. Uncle Ben's like, Gabe, I got a present for you. Here's a little something I picked up for you. What is it? There's a bug. That's right, it's an ancient scarab beetle. Oh man, it's a fucking beetle encased in amber as a necklace. Cause you know, boys like necklaces. We then meet, I'm gonna say Nyla. I think that's yeah, because she's Nile, from Nile, the Nile. Nile. She's like, oh, she's like a journalist with the Egyptian Times. Nila Rahmed, I'm a reporter with the Cairo Sun. I want to come with you and write up the discovery from the beginning. Strange. We are twins. Yours is empty. 
This book kind of follows. <laughs> Why is that funny? Uncle Ben is really excited about his latest <laughs> like discovery. Fucking panda bear. <laughs> I don't know if I can walk. <laughs> can, you, can you give me something to eat? Like a slice of cheese? Give me that pack of provolone. Big day comes. There's like a lion seal made of gold. So they slowly pry it open, get the door open to a room filled, filled with treasure. It was just really random shot. Cheers, random. Let me rest in peace. You can read that stuff? What does it mean? They find this standing mummy sarcophagus. Again, the words, let me rest in peace, are written everywhere. Nyla's taking pictures of everything. They bust open the sarcophagus, and there's just this tiny little mummy. It's the cutest little mummy in the world, smaller than Gabe. There's these words, the mummies will come back to life if you say this incantation five times. <laughs> well, the ancient legend says that if you repeat the sacred words three times, charu, chara, chari, the mummy will be awakened from his sleep. They say the curse, you know, and nothing really happens. Whatever. They hear like some commotion outside. They look out. They see Ben just getting what looks, again, they, they're not sure, but it looks like he's being forced to the, to the pyramid. They go into the tomb. They hear this scraping in the tomb. They turn around, shine the flashlight. Holy shit, the mummy's walking. And then all of a sudden, Nyla comes in, like, Nyla, help! She's like, no! Come to me! Come to me, my brother! Because it's actually Princess Nyla. What? This is my cousin! Or my... This, my brother. This is my brother! The prince, the, the buried uh, mummy, mummify mummy, if you will, oh, is... If we will. Is Nyla's <laughs> brother. And she has uh, kept herself alive through that amber amulet. She turns into a scarab at night, crawls into the amulet, and then and a day apparently comes back lives out forever in a human form. I lived inside this stone every night for four thousand years. I brought my my brother back. We're gonna rule the world because he's got powers despite his small stature. Nyla stole the summoner hand, uh, Gabe's lucky charm from Gabe and used it to uh, summon her brother, dead mummified brother, back to life. Destroy them, my brother. There can be no witnesses. The mummy's attacking them. Gabe just lunges at Nyla. They get into a struggle, and she like tries to throw him off, but he grabs the amulet from her, rips off, falls to the ground, and shatters. She loses her mind. She's like, this is how I stay immortal. And she turns into a fucking beetle, melts out of her clothes, and scurries away. Mummy just stops just. So, was the mummy always just standing in the middle of the room like it was about to murder someone? Yes! That's exactly... There it is. <laughs> They're back at camp, and, you know, everyone's like, that was just so weird. Sorry's talking to Gabe, like, I can't believe that happened, that she was like, a beetle living in amber. How messed up would it be if she's still out there and she's gonna bite you? So I got ha ha, shut up, sorry. They go to bed. Last line of the book. Ouch! I'm not gonna call that a dark ending because you have. They're in fucking Egypt. There's bugs and shit everywhere. <laughs> Why do I feel like we're gonna be doing this again in two weeks, guys? So, it's been a few weeks now. Uh, since we tried to last do the episode and two-thirds of drinking with goosebumps got pretty annihilated there the keen eye viewer <sighs> might notice there were two pumpkins down here now there is only one because I puked in the other one I just randomly got up and vomited in the backstage area of the set you know you're not really being ladylike right now I'm not a lady that's a good point where we left off, uh, Bob had declared that that wasn't a dark ending. Uh, if you don't, I don't remember, if you don't crap. recall the ending, 
um, Gabe is in bed and he gets bit by a oh, scarab. Yeah. Or he says, ouch. He says, ouch. We don't know if he's been bit by a scarab. Bob called it not a dark ending. We were too messed up to argue otherwise. <laughs> I'm going to say that is a dark ending. I hold that it is not a dark ending. All right, so you, you're both comfortable not calling it a dark ending. It's a dark ending. I just don't want to take. I just don't want to take the shot. It well, is. Ned, the last minute swing vote. All right. To but, not a dark ending. You guys are stupid. It was a dark ending. Curiously, there was no Curse of the Mummy episode in the series, but there was an episode for the sequel, Return of the Mummy. That's yeah. So I we don't know what we're gonna see. It will be a surprise to us all. I want some awesome Canadian lines. Canadian mummy. Yep. Ah, look, they're filming in Egypt. Yeah, I bet. They're really up their budget for this one. Cairo, Canada. Well, I know why you're about to hate me. He is on Are You Afraid of the Dark? He's one of the kids. It's all about the journey. Hello. You guys. You guys. Jeepers. Oh, it's swander. Men's room, women's room. Yeah, basically. It's Pat. The weird pile of dirt. Yeah, that's actually dead bodies. No. It's ash. <laughs> no, Jason's yeah. ash. Yeah. Oh, you're right. What do you call a Jewish Pokemon trainer? What? Ash. <laughs> Jesus. Twinsies. Are twins. <laughs> it's like, you know, we should probably make out since we're twins. I was a way better mummy. Oh, yeah. You're just not Canadian enough. Like, we couldn't find scarabs, so we got cockroaches. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Stock photo from 30 years earlier. That episode sucked dick. It was, it was pretty weak. It was rushed. Oh, totally. Like, it was so, like... Normally, we watch two-parters. There two wasn't parters. even plot. We watched two-parters, and we're like, this could have been a one-parter. That was a one-parter that could have been a two-parter. Uh-oh. Nobody home. I'm glad we went the whole episode without anyone recognizing a celebrity. Nope, I did. Remember when I said that? Daniel DeSanto was in Are You Afraid of the Dark is what I recognized him from. I was. Let's go again. Ugh. You couldn't taste the blue carrots now? Because I could. No. Oh, yeah. It's fucking it's, gross. No, no, Got no. my nipples hard. How about you? Yeah, I bet. Look at fucking nip out over there. <laughs> well, that was the episode. Now let's rate the book. Jason, what do you give this book? 9.5 out of 10. I see he's jumping on the bandwagon of uh, decimals. I It's not... I can't quite give it a 10. It's... You know, it's That's not, it's no haunted still mess. a high fucking freak. Well, here's the thing. I did not like the first Mummy book. This is the Mummy book I wanted out of the first Mummy book. This was, it was cool. You have the princess in disguise. who's a scarab beetle. You actually have a mummy in the damn book. Bob? I'll give it a seven. Flat seven? Just for reasons? No, a sharp seven. Sharp seven? For reasons? or Music just... joke, kid. <laughs> seven hashtag? Hashtag seven. Yeah, I give it a hashtag seven. I, I, I still think I like the first one more. Um, shut up, you're stupid. Uh, I, the the necklace seem, thing seemed really pointless, whereas the summoner's hand, you know, was like the artifact from the first one actually legitimately had purpose. Well, that's what she lived in. No, hers, but oh, Gabe's oh, with his, the scarab. His, yeah. it, I was half expecting, like, maybe that scarab was going to come out and be another mummy or something, you know? I like that it was just like a memento. Like you go somewhere and you get some piece of crap that says, "Oh, look, I've been here." That's all it was. Give him a fridge magnet. Yeah, but it doesn't, again, it doesn't but have to. Fa I like that it didn't factor in I except think, to it's explain Neela's. Barely. Nyla's. That would have been a better dark ending if, like, he's like looking at his scare. His thing is like, "Hey, where's the scarab?" And then he gets bit. That would be a dark ending. That's why he said "ow" at the end of the book. That would have been a pretty good ending. That would have been. That's what I'm saying. But that would have been a dark twist ending. We still had a dark ending because we drank no, for it. No, well, no, because you two are stupid. I do. I still disagree on that dark ending. But you took the You shot, can vote but... here if Bob's right. What does what does the click do? What does it take you to? <laughs> Doesn't do anything. It just lets you. you, it just, you can just it, click there's there. just a counter so that Jason <laughs> knows I'm right. Ned, what do you rate? Return of the Mummy. I'm gonna give it just a straight. Uh, ampersand eight. 
It, it was good. I, I like the first one better. I think the first one was just like more kind of memorable, I guess. This Nothing one was- happened in the first one. Or didn't need to. Childhood happened. We do want to do a shout out to some donators. Pablo in Arizona and Santana in Alabama. Look out for these in the mail. These were part of our old set, our first set. And thank you for donating yeah, to our thank you. And also, thank you to Al from Denver, who also generously contributed to our PayPal. Everyone who contributed, thank you guys very thank much. Thank you, we do appreciate it. Kevin, what is our next novel? Phantom of the Auditorium. He's out to stop the show for good. <gasps> you know what hasn't happened in a long time? Ow! Dude! Random shot! Fuck! It's your own <laughs> fault. You have no one to blame but yourself. Random shot. Well, that's all for Return of the Mummy, so please join us next time when we review Phantom of the Auditorium. Where we break Jason's knees. We're not doing that. We're gonna break Jason's Hashtag knees. Hashtag break Jason's knees. Vote here if you'd like us to break Jason's knees. <laughs> 